Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kennedy and I am a junior in college studying elementary education. And today I'm gonna to be doing a really fun video that I have been looking forward to for a while now. Um, I'm gonna make hot chocolate bombs. I don't know if you've seen hot chocolate bombs like on TikTok or Instagram or anything, but they literally look so fun and I'm really excited to try to make them. I'm gonna try to make a couple different kinds, like one kind just regular and like a peppermint kind and maybe a white chocolate kind. I'm not sure about that, but we will see. But I'm doing this intro right now in my room at my dad's house. What it looks like <laughs> um because i'm probably gonna do this video in like a voiceover style for the like main majority of it besides the intro and outro because there's people in my house that are like working from home and i don't want to be annoying and being like f talking loud and like filming myself talking downstairs while they're working so i just wanted to pop on here give you guys this intro and let you guys know what's happening so let's go make those hot chocolate bombs. Here are all of the ingredients that you need to make your hot chocolate bombs. You need chocolate chips, mini marshmallows, hot chocolate mix, candy canes. I got the mini kind just so they're easier to work with. Some half sphere molds, a microwave safe bowl, and a spoon. First, you want to take your microwave safe bowl and add your chocolate chips. I didn't add a certain amount, I just eyeballed what I think would work. Then, I took my chocolate chips and put them in the microwave. I started at 30 seconds, and then, as I took them out and stirred them, I took the time down in the microwave to 15 and then 10 seconds so I did not burn the chocolate chips. Make sure you stir them in between each time you put them in the microwave. Once the chocolate chips are fully melted and look smooth like this, you can start adding them to your molds. I took a spoonful of chocolate laid it in the mold and then ran it across the sides with the spoon making sure to not leave any holes. This definitely took some getting used to as it was kind of difficult at the beginning but once I did a couple of them I really got into the hang of it and was able to complete them faster without getting any holes. Once you're done putting chocolate in all of the half spheres of your mold, set them in your refrigerator. I put mine in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or until they all seemed like they were fully set and frozen and able for me to take them out of their molds. While my chocolate is setting in the fridge, I decided to work on my candy canes. I wanted to open them up and break them so that they were in smaller pieces and then I was going to use a rolling pin to make them even smaller to be able to be sprinkled on the top of my hot chocolate bombs. Once my chocolate was finished setting in the refrigerator, it was time to take them out of their molds. This took a lot of careful and slow work to be able to do without breaking them. I slowly and gently pushed the hot chocolate bombs out of their silicone mold. This is where the silicone really comes in handy because it is flexible and you're able to get the chocolate out without breaking it. Now it's time to fill and close the hot chocolate bombs. This was by far the hardest step. So first I filled one and a half of a bomb with the hot chocolate mix and added some marshmallows. Then I took the other half and ran it across a plate that I had run hot water over so it melted a little bit. And then I took my finger along the edges to smooth it and hopefully get rid of any gaps. 
Most of the bombs, I was unsuccessful in getting rid of the gaps because a lot of them had holes in them. This step was really hard and definitely takes some practice and I did not perfect it in this video. I wanted to add some decoration to some of the bombs, so I put some melted hot chocolate on top of them and added some candy canes. Some of them, I put marshmallows on the top. This made them look way better in my opinion. These are all of the hot chocolate bombs that I made today. As you can see, a lot of them have holes in them. It'll definitely take a lot of practice for me to make them hole free. But in the end, they all worked, so it didn't really matter if they have holes in them. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, me testing the best hot chocolate bomb, in my opinion, that I made today. This is some really hot milk that I microwaved for about a minute and a half, and here is the magic. This is definitely my favorite part about the hot chocolate bombs, how all the marshmallows come to the surface. I think it just looks so mesmerizing and satisfying, and it's just really cool. I really enjoyed watching the bomb break apart in my milk. So here I am taste testing the hot chocolate bomb. It was really hot, so I had to blow it to cool it. It was actually really good. I didn't think that it was going to be as chocolatey as regular hot chocolate since I was not able to fit a full packet in each bomb, but the chocolate on the outside really added to the taste and made it really great and chocolatey. Hey friends! So I just finished making the hot chocolate bombs and let me give you a brief little summary about how it was to make them. Um, so basically, it was harder than it looks, let me say that. Obviously, mine were not the prettiest. They kind of had holes in them <laughs> a little bit. Some of them were leaking hot chocolate. The one that I tested was actually the best one that I did, but it was harder than it looks because it was really hard to like connect the two half spheres together, like to make one whole sphere. It was like really difficult to do that, so. I'm not sure how people in those videos do it so like easily but I will have to keep trying on that one to figure it out but other than that it worked pretty well and it tasted really good even though it didn't look pretty it tasted pretty good um it was so so satisfying watching the marshmallows come up to the top I'll probably do another one a little later but I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys try to make some hot chocolate bombs on your own it's pretty easy despite the connecting the two half circles <laughs> together other than that it was really easy so if you guys try those on your own you should post them on Instagram and tag me at kennedy.nicole4 and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss the rest of my vlogmas videos and I will see you soon bye